Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Amanda Wood, the CEO and founder of The Hoat Edit. It is a personal styling and personal transformation company. And grab your coffee like I have, or grab your wine if you're watching this a little bit later. But I love doing these shoppable videos. And today we're gonna to be doing a dress in the style of Rene Russo from The Thomas Crown Affair. And this is a amazing movie for fashion. It was done in 1999, so it's a little bit of an older movie, but the looks that Rene Russo wears in the movie are just gorgeous, classic, timeless. Some are a bit minimalist, some are a bit, some are a bit Parisian, some are a bit edgy. So I love the looks and I think you will too. So let's hop into the five looks we're going to be doing today. So I'm gonna go through the looks and unfortunately I can't come back to this slide because it messes up the video. So I'll talk through them and then um, you can just reference them back through the video. But uh, first look is a gorgeous camel colored coat, an off-white sweater, black meaty skirt, and then some gorgeous knee-high boots. And Rene Russo is an hourglass figure, but don't hear that and feel like you can't wear these items because they are all gorgeous timeless pieces that every lady, every body shape can wear. So don't hear that and feel like you can't. So. Uh, next look is a brown tweed suit, uh, some brown loafers, a brown turtleneck, and then a gourmet, gorgeous Hermes Birkin bag. And the one that she has in the movie is now a vintage piece. So the Birkin bags that are around today are looking a little bit different. So the one that I sourced for this video did come from the real real just to get it close to the one that Rene Russo has right here in this picture. And then the next look is this gorgeous black leather jacket, black dress, and then some great combat boots. And the combat boot trend is still going strong. You also have the lug sole boot trend that you saw with Bottega Veneta. So these are some great boots to have, just a fun ad for your wardrobe. And then Renee's fourth look from the movie is a white button-down shirt, a black bustier, and then a pinstripe blazer and a pinstripe skirt. So for this video, I did do a um, pantsuit instead, just because it is getting a little bit cooler where I am and we're going into fall and winter months that I did change out the skirt for pants. So that is the Parisian-esque look that Rene Russo wears. And then for the fifth look, we're gonna do a off-white beigey dress and then a gorgeous off-white beigey coat and then some nude heels. So this will go more for a classic minimalist type look. So these are the five looks that we're gonna be doing for the video. And I do apologize that I can't come back to this slide because it will screw up the video. So these are the looks and let's get into them. So here we have the turtleneck from the first look. So this one does say winter white, so it should be a little bit more of a cream color in real life natural lighting than it is on the model. So it should look more like um, what Rene Russo is wearing in the movie. And as you see me click these pink little buttons over to the side, that makes each of the items shoppable. So if you're looking at this on a desktop, the item should come up over to the side of your screen. And then if you're watching this on your iPhone or your phone, they should come up below the video. And you just go through the video and you can click to buy and it will add to your shopping cart. And don't feel constrained to the sizes that I've picked. Once you hop into the website, you can pick any different sizes. I just pop some in to have them in the shopping cart so this, this video could be done. But uh, don't feel like you have to purchase the sizes that I've picked. You can definitely change out the sizes that are right for you. So 
So next up we have the skirt from the first look. So I picked a Jonathan Simca skirt. It is a stretch ribbed meaty meaty <laughs> sweater skirt. So it's going to be gorgeous for any lady, any body type, and uh, it'll hug your curves, look gorgeous. And for you petite ladies, just know that this will come a little bit lower on you than it does on the model. So I'll make that shoppable and make sure that that went. Okay, so now let's get on to the jacket. So this is the gorgeous Reese coat that I picked to as close as I could match Renee's in the movie. This one does not have the patch pockets that hers did in the movie, but it still has that same effortlessly chic feel about the coat. So I love, love this option for the look. Make that shoppable. And uh, Reese is a UK brand, so sometimes you have to size up a little bit more if you want a more oversized look, or size up a bit if you want uh, a little bit room for sweaters underneath. So now let's go over to the boots. And here we have the boots for the look. These are a gorgeous pair of Kenneth Cole uh, knee-high boots, and they look perfect for her look. And as you can see, um, Bloomingdale's is running a sale right now, so I do hope that this sale, or a better one, is going when you ladies check out this video. But uh, I did source a lot of the items from Bloomingdale's, so you could take advantage of a sale that was occurring during this video. So I will make that shoppable. And there we go. So that will complete the first look. So now let's hop into the brown tweed suit look. So I have sourced the brown tweed look two from the Thomas Crown Affair from Rene Rousseau um, over at J. Crew. So this is a gorgeous, gorgeous J. Crew cashmere sweater, funnel neck to go with the look. So I love this for um, just gorgeous, gorgeous sweater. This will be able to be dressed up, dressed down, fits easily into your current wardrobe and it's just a gorgeous piece. So let's get into the suit now. And I'm so excited. Uh, during the time of filming of this video, you do have a 50% off code. So definitely pop that in uh, if you do want to grab this suit. So this is a beautiful wool uh, suit and it does have a light plaid pattern to it and great to use as separates, great to use as a full suit. And this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous um, pant for look two. So let's get into the jacket. And here we have the matching blazer to top off the look two for the suit outfit. And this I love, it is a double breasted blazer, which is so on trend for right now. And you can, uh, wear this as a separate, wear this with jeans, wear this with a skirt, wear this with pants. So many different options for this. You know, dress it up, dress it down, um, pop on some heels with it, pop on some sneakers with it. So many options and such a great ad for your wardrobe. And again, this one is 50% off right now, so can't go wrong. So... <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> For Renee's second look in the movie, she does have an Hermes Birkin bag in the film. So I picked one that was as close to the um, bag that she was using in the film. So hers is a little bit different than the Birkins that are out right now. So you can grab one here uh, on the Real Real, which is a great pre-owned luxury consignment shop and they authenticate everything and their customer service is wonderful. So don't be um, worried about doing a purchase through, through the Real Real. So now let's get on to the next look. 
And so now for look three for Renee Russo in the Thomas Crown Affair. Uh, if you remember, she's wearing that gorgeous black leather jacket and the black dress and the combat boots. So here we have a gorgeous sweater draft sweater dress from Andamane and this one is just beautiful. It is a great ad again for your wardrobe. Perfect to have a little black dress for the colder months. So this one I love um, for Renee Russo's third look. So let's get into the jacket next. So here we have the jacket for the third look. Uh, if you can remember from the style picture that Renee Russo is wearing more of a traditional black leather jacket, uh, she didn't, or the stylist for the movie didn't go for a uh, moto style jacket. So the one she's wearing is more of a traditional one like this. I love this one from All Saints. It is a awesome UK brand. And I do find that um, you do have to size up a little bit in this one. So you do have the UK sizes and the US sizes. So uh, for this brand, just size up about one size, sometimes two sizes up, but just check out the reviews and see which one would be best for you. But uh, they do fit a little bit smaller, so I would definitely recommend sizing up for this. So here we have the combat boots to finish off Renee's third look. So I love these from Ash. They um, go in for a bit with the lug sole boot trend that we're seeing right now, and then they play up the combat boot trend that we're seeing right now. And they are a great boot for the look, and they're on sale, and it is a great add to your wardrobe and um, the reviews are saying that some of people feel they're wide some people feel they're small some people feel that they are a bit big so the reviews are a bit all over the place but ash is a great brand it is a great quality quality brand so i would recommend um, just taking a peek, peek at the reviews see which one fits you best and go with that but know that Ash is a great quality brand and that you won't be disappointed with the boot. And so now we're getting into Renee Russo's fourth look from the movie. So if you can remember, she's wearing that white shirt with the black bustier and the pinstripe jacket and the pinstripe skirt. So for that look, I love this white button down from the Couples. And I picked that picked one that had a little bit of a higher neck uh, just to give it that very, you know, structured, feminine, masculine, feminine feel that the, um, the look is going for. And it's very um, much Parisian kind of a feel. So I love this white button down for the look. And then a white button down you can't go wrong with in your wardrobe. You can easily dress this up, dress this down, wear the jeans like the model has, or wear with black pants for a more dressed up look shorts, skirt, so many different options with a great white button down. Here we have the blazer for the third look. So this I love. Again, I went with a double-breasted blazer. Um, great for ladies that have a little bit of a tummy. If you have a little bit of a chest, I would size up a little bit, but I love this for a classic piece that is not going to go out of style, and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous ad for your wardrobe and perfect for the third look. Um, and then also, like I said, don't feel like you have to purchase the sizes that I'm picking. Uh, once you hit it into your bag, you can pick any different sizes. And here we have the matching pants. Uh, these are a little bit 
uh, more cozy of feel, but underneath the blazer, you would never know that they have a drawstring and that they're a little bit more cozy. But I love that these are great uh, to wear as a separate and a wide leg pant. And if you are petite, I would recommend using a bit of a higher heel so the pants go over your shoes and all the way to the floor and you look a million miles tall. And then my average height ladies maybe go for a little bit of a shorter heel and then let them go to the floor and you'll have the same effect. So I love these pants to go with the blazer and to go for Renee Russo's third look. Just make those shoppable. There we go. All right, and next on to the shoes. So these shoes are the perfect add to complete this fourth look. And I also love these for her third look that you could do uh, these underneath the brown tweed or I have um, some pumps coming up next for the fourth look that you could use under the brown tweed look. But these Sam Elderman heels I love to polish off the fourth look and your pinstripe Parisian uh, look. So next, let's hop over to Nordstrom for the black bustier. So here we are over at Nordstrom for the black bustier. And with this one, it is a gorgeous bustier. You can wear it uh, over the shirt, you can wear it under the shirt to get the feel of the true style and the true outfit of the movie. Definitely wear it over your shirt with a black blazer thrown over it. And with this one, you might wanna just size up a little bit so that it does fit over the shirt. And it is the perfect fit and touch to finish off the fourth look. So now let's get into the last look from Thomas Crown Affair. So we are now over at Zara for the last look, the fifth look, from the Thomas Run from the Thomas Crown Affair with Renee Russo. And in it, if you can remember, she's wearing the beige dress with the beige overcoat and then the nude pumps. So this dress I just loved for the detailing. I loved the length. And again, um, ladies that are a little bit petite, this will be a little bit longer on you. And for ladies that are regular height, this should go just a little bit below your knee. But I just loved the gorgeous detailing on it. Again, that nod to feminine and masculine. And I just loved how beautiful the dress is. And this is another staple piece that will go in your wardrobe and um, be in rotation. So easily dressed up, so easily dressed down. Just a great ad for your existing wardrobe. And for me, uh, with white dresses, I always say to size up just because it's a little bit more body conscious and it's just a little bit better when you size up in white dresses. So that is the dress. So let's now hop over to the coat. And here we have the coat to go over the dress. And because they are from the same store, the colors are going to match almost perfectly, just like they do in the movie that Rene Russo is wearing. So I love the detailing on this coat. It is such a gorgeous, simple coat that you can dress up, dress down, throw on with jeans, throw on with the dress, you know, wear it over black dress, wear it over a colored dress, such a great coat, so easily added into your current wardrobe. And it is a beautiful, beautiful piece. So now let's hop over to the shoes to complete the last outfit. So here we have the nude pumps for the fifth and final outfit. So these are a gorgeous classic pump uh, that is just a great add for your wardrobe and can seamlessly go into any wardrobe. So these will complete the look of the dress and the coat that she is wearing in the movie. And also you can use these for the brown tweed suit look. These shoes will complement that look 
gorgeously and effortlessly. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to be doing quite a few more shoppable videos in the style of TV shows, in the style of other movies, and in the style of some style icons. So I do hope you enjoyed. Give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and I would love if you hit the subscribe button, and I hope you all have a great day.